Hello, I'm Erica Klabaki, a Grey Clip stylist here in the Minneapolis market. Today I will show you some finger blow dry styling techniques so that you can create volume for your customers. If we are looking to create volume in our customer's hair, we need to do more than just a little bit of product and waving the blow dryer around. If we want to achieve the best results, we need to bring some techniques during the drying process. I want to review a few foundational techniques that we've all learned back in cosmetology school and some other great techniques to help you create volume using your hands. I will begin with the blow dryer on medium heat and medium speed. Because I will be doing directional blow drying, I will only be using the concentrator on the roots. Once finished, I will remove the concentrator for the rest of the styling to create greater volume all around. Let's review directional styling, the foundation to all styling. On base, half off base, and off base. Half off base is for minimal volume. On base creates volume and off base creates maximum volume. Now that we have reviewed the different bases to create the volume we are trying to achieve, I'm going to begin by applying a foundation product all over the whole head, and then we'll cover two different volumizing techniques, finger round brushing and the pinch and pull method. I'm going to apply volumizing foam as my foundation product because it adds great volume and medium control without any added weight. I am using about a golf ball size amount and will emulsify it in my hands. Then distribute it evenly on towel dried hair and comb it through the whole head. Now I will dry it about 50%. On this half of the head, I'm going to show you how to use your hand as a round brush. To do this, I'm first going to apply some Boosting Blowout Cream. This product works great for all hair textures and lengths. If your customer regularly blow dries their hair and is looking for additional volume and body, this is the recommended product for them. Because this product can become a little heavy, I need to make sure I am applying the appropriate amount for the density of the hair. What I like to do is put some of this product in the back of my hand and use it like a painter's palette. This way, if I need more at any point, I have it ready. Use high speed and medium heat to protect your hands. I typically only use this technique from the top of the head to the tip of the ear and the parietal ridge, just for the sake of time. For each section, apply the product, comb it through first to remove any tangles and smooth out each section for better results. Now on the other side of the head, I wanna show you the pinch and pull method. Before we can do that, we need to prep the hair. I'm going to apply Root Booster Thickening Spray from Solutions by Great Clips. This product is one of my absolute favorites. I like using this product because it's humidity resistant and gives hair volume, body, and overall lift. Make sure to use this product on towel dried hair, spray up the roots for intense lift, and mid-length ends for added thickness and texture. You will start with square sections and pull directionally to the amount of lift you are trying to achieve. Thank you for joining me here today. If you have any questions about what you saw today, please post them in the comment section below and we will give you an answer as soon as possible. For more information on the featured products in this video, go to the Resource Center on the Salon Innovations website, hover over the Education tab and select Product Knowledge. Until next time, happy styling.